To replace the HH20108 thermocouple, you'll need the following required tools. A 5 16 inch nut driver, a 3 8 inch wrench, a 7 16 inch wrench, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, a 2.4 millimeter slotted screwdriver, and a small container. Turn off the power switch and unplug the power cord. Remove 10 outer screws from the side panel with the number 2 Phillips screwdriver. There are 3 in front, 3 in back, and 4 on the side. Collect all screws in the small container. Carefully remove the side panel and place flat on its side. Before removing any wires, take a picture for reference of the red and yellow thermocouple wires on the control board. Take a picture of the green, black, and white blower cables. With the 2.4 mm slotted screwdriver, loosen, but do not remove, the screws holding the red and yellow thermocouple wires on the control board. Detach the wires. Detach the blower cables from the three blower terminals. Remove the insulation squares from the corresponding blower and keep them in the small container. With the 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the four nuts connecting the air funnel to the hot hold. Place the nuts in the small container. Then detach the air funnel. With the number two Phillips screwdriver, remove the six screws, four in front and two in back, connecting the blower to the air funnel. Place the screws in the small container. Separate the blower from the air funnel. Note the orientation of the blower. Remove the thermocouple by holding one nut with a 3 8 inch wrench and turning the other nut with a 7 16 inch wrench. Once loose, turn by hand. Place the new thermocouple through the front of the air funnel. Attach and tighten the 3 8 inch nut to the thermocouple. Attach the air funnel back onto the hot hold with the four nuts from the small container. Place the insulation squares from the small container back in their original positions with the aluminum side against the unit. Attach the blower cables back onto the blower terminals according to the picture taken previously. Attach the thermocouple wire to the control board according to the picture taken previously. Attach the side panel back onto the main unit, screwing in the 10 outer screws from the small container. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by phone, email, or at meistercook.com.